SBA loans. This is your latest and greatest information. We got Chime, PPP loans, SBA loans. This goes for anybody who wants to apply or had questions as far as when it comes to Chime and the PPP loans. First, I wanna start off this video by asking you what phase or what position are you in? Guys, drop the comments below. Let me know exactly where you're at when it comes to this. I know a lot of people are on the phase one. A lot of people have signed documents. A lot of people actually got funded, you know, and a lot of people was asking me, yo, Quentin, is Chime accepting PPP loans? The answer is yes. You know, I know they sent out an email and a lot of people received emails stating, you know, they were slowing down on the PPP loans, SBA loans, you know, but I would and like to tell you guys, they are accepting these right now. I know the email could be a lot, could be kind of scary, right? Because if you were wanting or needed this loan and you got it and you received the email, this, um, I want to let you guys know that they are actually accepting those and people have actually sent me screenshots because on my last videos, I was keeping everybody updated and a lot of people were saying, yo, Quentin, I have actually received my PPP loan. But I also received an email stating that I wasn't going to receive it. So I do want to let you guys know, as of right now, they are accepting those loans. But every loan is different. Everybody's position is different. Meaning, you know, just because this business, let's, for example, business A, they may have got approved within two, three days. You know, business B may have got approved two, three weeks. So everybody is different based on your business. You know, we gotta make, we gotta understand that everybody's business is not the same. Everybody's business goes off on a different, you know, everybody's different, everybody's business is different. You know, that's what it just comes down to. Um, I'm gonna get into some of these screenshots. If you guys got questions, feel free to drop them below. Chime Bank actually watches my videos. They comment on my videos and they're here to help you guys, just like I am too. So I do wanna ask you guys, just drop the comments below if you guys got questions you know let me know where you're at you know how long you've been waiting you know all that good stuff right because at the end of the day i'm here to help you guys but also at the end of the day this is a government funded loan so it's possibility of you actually get receiving this loan and not having to pay it back you know so there's a lot of qualifications that goes behind that but i do want to let you guys know before we get into this i'm still doing this giveaway that i do each and every month actually the 15th of this month i will be posting on instagram so you guys want to make sure you follow me on instagram and that way when that post comes you can get an extra entry all you guys gotta do is like and subscribe and feel free to drop a comment i got a playlist on my channel that says giveaways you know i've done these giveaways every single month so if you guys want to be entered feel free go to my channel you'll see a playlist that says giveaway go ahead and do all that good stuff but yeah let's get right into these screenshots so let's get right into this this was actually a screenshot from a member of my channel if you guys want to become a member it's it's easy to become a member all you guys do is all you guys gotta do is actually join my channel i don't know if you guys can see it on there but if you guys get on a desktop it's very very easy um, and with that, basically you'll get extra perks. You'll actually be able to get an extra entry when it comes to that giveaway. So you got a higher chance of winning in that giveaway. But if you guys got any questions, feel free to drop those below. And this is actually a deposit from, where's this deposit from? From Chime and Bensworth stating that they received their PPP loan. Now, I don't know exactly their business. You know, I'm not into, I don't want it every, you know what I mean? I don't know their business and what they do, but it looks like they have and they did receive this actually direct deposit and this was strictly from chime and they actually texted me and said i was finally approved i was finally funded you know with bensworth now if you guys got uh questions like i said feel free to drop them below but this is um i would say this is proof that they're actually receiving these uh deposits they're getting funded and as you guys can see there um, they transfer some over to their savings account and that's probably the best thing to do because I've been hearing a lot of people say that they've been transferring to their savings account they were transferring out of their accounts so that'll probably be the best thing to do once you're funded hurry up and get that money out because let's be real we don't know exactly what's going to happen after that I heard a lot of people get funded and then that money actually got reversed if that happened to you feel free to drop those comments and concerns below I don't know why that happened but I do know with another member who told me that happened to them but they said that the bank stated that their information was wrong so whoever was funding them it actually went through but the address was wrong and that's why i want to tell you guys and, and put that in you guys air make sure your address is right make sure your um 
the name is right, you know, your zip codes, all that good stuff where you would think, oh, it's very, very simple, duh, Quentin. But, you know, for the most part, you do these loans and people, you're doing too fast, right? You know, you just get too excited and you're doing real fast. You may misspell something. You may forget a number, forget a letter. So at the end of the day, make sure everything is correct. But this is proof, and this was actually a minute ago, that they got approved for um, $3,312. So when people say, so when people ask, is Chime accepting? Ben's worth accepting? Yes, they are. I know a lot of people was getting received. Um, a lot of people was actually receiving theirs through Wombly as well. So if you guys apply through any of those and are still waiting, feel free to drop those comments and concerns below. You know, let's give some hope, you know, because I, I, it was a point in time where Chime and these other banks put out this message, an email stating they were not accepting anymore or money was ran out. You know what I mean? And I'll get into that. I, there's a few articles we'll tap into when it comes to that. But at the end of the day, they are accepting those. And I don't only have one screenshot somebody sent me, I have another one. So this is valid proof that yes, Chime, Bizworth, they are accepting these loans. Now, if you guys been in the process or actually had to change your bank account information, drop those comments below as well. I don't know as far as how long it's gonna take for you, but I do know 21 days is the max. So if you if you have waited longer than 21 days or close to 21 days or let's say 14 days, just know anywhere between that gap is when you should receive it. Now, if you guys had to correct any information, you know, your bank account information, that could actually delay the process. And that's why I was trying to tell you guys the first time, make sure it's all correct because you may get approved the first time and guess what? That information is incorrect. You may not get approved again. Like I said, this is, this is funded money, but the money could run out. And that's what reports from CNN and reports from Fox News are stating that some loans are, um, you know, they're funded, they're, they're getting exhausted, right? So the fund money is getting real, real low. So stating, let's say if you was in first place, right? but you had to correct this information that puts you all the way back in the back of the line you know so you have to actually start over when it comes to stuff like that especially when it comes to loans and stuff like that but that's why i was on that's why i want to tell you guys make sure that the correct information is being posted and is actually on your account now i know a lot of people's question yo how do we know if it's correct or not um they're not going to tell you but that's why you have to go over it and if you're a business Let's be real. If you're a business, then you should go over all that information. That's if you're if you are correct. And that's if, if you're a business, all that information should be correct on there. Parents with children ages six to 17, they can qualify to receive up to three thousand dollars per kid. And you can get money for older kids, too. For each 18 year old and full time college student between the ages of 19 and 24, parents can get up to five hundred dollars. There are some other stipulations. The child you're claiming must live with you for at least part time. You and your child must be U.S. citizens. And for married couples filing jointly, at least one spouse needs to have a social security number or individual taxpayer identification number. And the kid also needs a social security number. Some details are still being worked out on the delivery of the money. We don't yet know how frequently these child tax credit payments will be distributed to families. All we know is that they will be paid out periodically from July through December. The burden to figure it out falls on the IRS. We also don't know if the IRS will send out payments the same way it handled stimulus checks. The payments will be automatic for anyone who files their 2020 tax returns by the new May 17th deadline. And if you don't file your taxes normally, well, you need to file your taxes if you want the credit. So the IRS knows how many dependents are in the household. The IRS said it's gonna have an online portal for all of this set up by July 1st. So hopefully things will be more clear by then. And if you rather get your payment as one lump sum next year when you file your taxes, ideally you could use the portal to set that up. And there's something else to keep in mind. The IRS is basing all of these payments off information from your latest tax return. So if the IRS starts paying you for the extra child tax credit, and it turns out you were not entitled to all the money you received, you will have to give the overpayment back. It is possible this financial boost may just be a 2021 thing. President Joe Biden's team said he wants to make the higher payment amounts permanent, 
but it would take Congress to make that a reality. Be sure to check back in with CNET for the latest updates to make sure you don't miss out on your money.